Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to share very very important steps for the of a tab development job. Like I got one comment stating to to demonstrate or to show or to share the knowledge of how Tableau dashboard or you no know, process of the Tableau development Tableau dashboard development happens from end to end. So in today's video, I am going to share a uh, end to end process flow for the Tableau dashboard development, right from writing SQL script to publishing the dashboard. So so let's begin. So very first step is like if you consider any organization any business then they have their own infrastructure to run the business they they, they, do, they do have their own way to store the data business data uh, whether it is on prem or on cloud so these things matters when it comes to developing the tableau dashboard because it is not simple as it look like in in general while while practicing the tableau we simply export the excel file or csv file into the tableau and simply create a dashboard and publish it on the tableau public but in real time project the things are not as simple as it look like practically the thing is a business user conduct a survey and they identify the opportunity and upon identification of the opportunity they figure out the different way to you know identify or to tackle that particular problem let's take an example for example a salesperson want to you know improve the sales performance for his company then very first thing what he will look for he will look for the different programs currently active to improve the sales he will look for the historical data for the sales he will look for the what are the different uh, you know incomes that the programs are generating from the different different ways where that data is been stored what are the different transactions happening before the sales and after the sales and where that data is been stored and how that data can be collected on the single point so here the data warehouse concepts comes into the picture data warehouse is nothing but a centralized place where all the data comes and stores it is a systematic way to store the data from the different different sources okay so very first thing that part is been done by the uh, back end team where the data warehouse which data warehouses are there what are the different servers has been used that kind of analysis happen first and upon identification and upon the a proper report they figure out what are the you know data warehouses need to be used to generate a relevant sales report upon identification of the you no know, detect uh, upon identification of the you know relevant data warehouses the back end team or the sql developer write a sql query to to retrieve a relevant records and upon that the business user do a validation whether the attributes like columns or the fields they what they are looking for is coming properly or not if it is not coming then they work with the development team and prepare a, a systematic way to retrieve the relevant fields into the sql query so that part is more into this development of sql query writing the sql script and you no know, retrieving the relevant data whether it is populating correct or not so etl relationship and er diagram that kind of knowledge is required for that so that is something more into back end first thing happened from back end so 
in backend data optimization happens if garbage data volume is very high then that needs to be removed first or replaced or you know to do a certain filters apply certain filters so backend data preparation is the first step once the backend data is ready then it is not simply writing sql query and you know, call that into dab it is not like that once the backend data is ready the business users identifies the relevant attributes upon which report needs to be generated uh, again it is not easy and it is look like first they will try to collect all the fields in a single place they will create a sql view sql view in the sense first whatever data is needed to bring into the tableau that needs to be identified column names to be identified and once that is confirmed we as a backend team create or, or write the relevant sql query we do join multiple tables apply multiple filters use multiple if condition case statement all that stuff into the sql query and finally we prepare it and see whether the output of that particular query is meeting the requirement or not if that requirement is not matching then we again work on the query and somehow we try we bring that to the requirement and once the requirement is matching then we build a sql view for the same query right so once that view is implemented into the database whether it is oracle database or any any cloud platform we have a process it is a process in general to implement a view into the database so once that view is implemented we can use that view into the tableau so how we do that we simply create the empty extract into the tableau because the data volume is very very high in in real time project it is having the billions of records so depending upon the tableau product like whether the client have the tableau server or tableau online depending upon that we create the empty extract and empty extract basically for that particular view we create the empty extract for the sql view and publish that empty extract to the tableau server or tableau online depending upon the platform has been used so after publishing that empty extract we run the full extract on the tableau server so that entire data for that particular view is been stored into the tableau server uh, we can directly use a view or custom sql to call out that data directly from the oracle database but as the data volume is very high it is billions of rows it takes tons of hours so to avoid that we create empty extract and shift that data or no create or store that data onto tableau server so that tableau can easily call out that data whenever required so once the extract is ready on tableau server for that particular view we use that as a data source into tableau desktop and simply create the visualization visualization in the sense it is not directly creating the charts and all that thing first we create a prototype version of the dashboard we do a validation we do a run a calculations multiple calculations in the tableau dashboard uh, rather than to saying tableau dashboard i could say a tableau a tabular report a tabular report like all the numerical data and all the calculations are completed once all the things are sorted out fixed out it is not like we simply creating the calculated field or lods and filters and everything is sorted no we get a lots of errors also we tackle that problem and finally create a dashboard or a tabular report 
that tabular report first goes to the business user to validation if they confirm on that figures are matching with their matrix then we proceed further to create the visualization of that particular tableau tabular report or we again work on the calculation so once it is validated a business users confirm okay these data these figures are actually matching with the matrix then they says you can create a bar chart line chart or any other chart depending upon their need we simply create it and again share it for the feedback once the feedback is received all is good to go we do some sort of cosmetic changes and finally publish that dashboard to the tableau server or tableau online or any third party website where wherever it is needed so this is what the tableau dashboard development process and trust me this is 10 or 11 minute long video but this entire process takes months of time to complete because lots of works lots of changes happen from back end from front end and things are changing right requirement changes suddenly then again we build duplicate dashboard and implement a new changes sometimes we rework on custom sql to create a another dashboard or sometimes we miss or sometimes business user says to bring something else into the some uh, sql query something else in the, in the sense like some other fields into sql query then we do work on the sql query and bring that field into the view again create a dashboard and see the results sometimes we do the performance optimization we identify unused field from the database we rework on sql query remove unwanted fields from the query and again rebuild the table dashboard and see the performance how it is working so it is it is not a single line thing it takes months of time real time experience is matters a lot and if you have the very good understanding how to use tableau desktop i would recommend you to check on udemy or any other platform where you will get some sort of tableau server knowledge and uh, writing sql query is the most essential part so I hope you got some sort of idea out of this and this may help you to prepare your interview also or in your real time projects also. Whatever I just said, I practically follow this thing into my real time project and I, I just shared this knowledge with you so that you will get some sort of benefit out of it. So this is all for the day. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this you can comment your questions your queries into it i will try to answer into the upcoming videos i think that could be a best way to communicate with all of you thank you so much for supporting all my interview series and my channel okay then till then see you in the next video take care bye bye